Today, guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, mad scientist um, experiment. We're going to be mixing some royal oak charcoal hardwood pellets with some bear mountain cherry pellets. And we're going to see what type of monstrosity we can come up with right after this. All right, guys, so I, I've tried these Royal Oak charcoal uh, pellets before, and um, I wasn't too impressed with them, uh, but I only used them one time. Um, so I'm gonna use them in this little experiment here. Hopefully, um, using the charcoal pellets with some um, cherry wood pellets will give us the smoke flavor and that little bit of charcoal flavor that we want on a pellet smoker, okay? We're gonna be using the AS300 today. Um, and no, I haven't gotten my A Smoke Essential yet. I'm still waiting like everybody else is waiting. I did get an email saying that it had shipped, and went, well, that they had shipped some to the States and they're gonna be distributing them out soon. Maybe snow on the ground before we get a chance to do a review on the uh, A Smoke Essential, but you know, it, it is what it is when you're doing uh, Kickstarter backers, all right? So, so let's go ahead and mix this together and we're gonna be doing a half a pork butt today. And um, so let's get the experiment underway. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get us approximately four cups of the charcoal pellets. Put them in our mixing bucket. Actually, this is my brining bucket, but I'm gonna use it to mix up the pellets. And then we get four cups of the cherry from Bear Mountain. Toss that in there. And we do a shake. And that's what we have, a mixture of charcoal and a mixture of cherry pellets. All right, let's get them in the A-smoke. All right, so we cleaned out the pellet hopper here and we're gonna uh, put in our combination pellets. And we're gonna turn the uh, smoker on and wait till the black and the black and brown pellets start showing out of into the fire pot. All right, so now we saw a few of the black pellets start to fall out, so we know we're at our mixture. So go ahead and put all our pieces back in. Close it up and let it come up the temp. All right, so while the A smoke is coming up the temp, let's prep some meat. All right, guys, so what we have here is a 2.7 pound half pork butt from Midwest Pride. So we're going to hit this with just a little bit of avocado oil to act as a binder. And since we're really experimenting to see how the flavors come out with the charcoal pellets and the cherry pellet combination, we're only seasoning this with a coating of SPG. So equal parts of uh, black pepper, kosher salt, and uh, garlic powder, all right? All right, 
So since it's pretty cool out here this morning, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up with a piece of paper towel so that the flies won't get to it. And then we'll wait for the A smoke to come up to temp. All right, now that we're up to temp, let's go ahead and get our half pork butt on. And we're gonna be using the meat stick to monitor our internal temperature. All right, we'll come back and check it in about an hour. Uh, pork butt has reached an internal temperature of 160, 161 degrees. As you can see here up on the screen, as indicated by the meat stick. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Still got a nice color on it. I want to give it an opportunity to get a little bit more smoke. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to spray it down just a little bit more. And I'm probably going to let it carry till about 175 before I wrap it, as long as it doesn't get too dark. We've been spritzing it like every half an hour. So We'll come back and see what it looks like once the internal temperature reaches 175. All right, guys, so our half a pork butt has reached an internal temperature of 171 degrees. And now we're going to wrap. Here's our pork butt. Take this out temporarily. Smells good, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. There we go. All right, we'll wait till we get to 203. All right guys, so we have reached an internal temperature of 205 degrees for this little half pork butt. We're gonna go ahead and take it off, let it rest before we pull it. Gonna pull in this little cooler, keep it warm. Let the juices go back in it. All right, we'll see you in an hour. All right, our half a pork butt has been resting for a little over an hour. Let's see if uh, how tender it is. Still hot. It's still a little tight. I think I should let it rest a couple, another hour or so. But it's got a really nice uh, smoke ring on it. Look at there. Nice smoke ring. Really nice smoke ring. The bark on this looks really good too. I'm going to attribute that to the charcoal pellets. I normally don't get a bark this good when I'm cooking on the A smoke with normal pellets, but it's got a nice color to it. It's tender, it's juicy. Man. All right. Time for a taste test. All right, guys. So the point of this experiment was to see if this would give us a more smokier charcoal type flavor than just normal pellets with the mixture of the charcoal and the cherry pellets. So. I'm take a piece here with some of this bark on it. It smells fantastic. All right, taste test. Tender, juicy. It does have a little bit more, a different flavor than normally come off the A smoke with just regular charcoal. So I'm thinking the charcoal pellets added to the hopper, added a little bit more flavor while this was cooking. But this tastes fantastic. Have another bite. Mm. Not bad. It almost tastes like it came off of the Weber. Just doesn't have as much smokiness as you would normally get if you was burning wood chunks or what have you. But the flavor is definitely tastes like something that came off the Weber. So I would say this was a successful cook, okay? Well, that's about it. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully we'll get our A Smoke Essential in sometime before uh, 
the heavy snow sets in. A smoke has been pretty slow in getting these out, but uh, when we get ours, we'll do a review on it, okay? If you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the description block below. And that's about it. So like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.